Hey guys, it's time for another manga premiere from Shonen Jump. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, with another manga review for you guys. It's going to be on the first chapter. It is the premiere of Guardian of the Witch. Um, a lot of the Shonen Jump chapters will be released on Sundays. Uh, probably won't be releasing the, all, all the videos on Sunday for you guys, but I'll be releasing chapter reviews as much as possible. And this is what that I actually might uh, continue reviewing because it's one that really intrigued me. Um, I hadn't really heard about it, but I did hear someone uh, or a few people on Twitter say that the first chapter wasn't bad. And as I read it, I was like, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, now, before I continue, guys, a few things. If you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button if you guys don't mind. And you'll be notified when I go live or when I upload videos. There is quite a few of uh, manga reviews in my channel. I think it's the one series that has the most... Um, videos on so make sure you check out all the different uh manga reviews that i have on my channel and also uh check out all the different other stuff that i have and provide for you guys uh also guys if you want to hear or uh see more reviews on this series let me know in the comment section so i uh can put it up in my list and uh, i will be releasing it as fast as possible uh lastly I want to encourage you guys to uh, go and be part of my Discord and uh, also follow me on Twitter, Animes Review 711. Thank you so much. Uh, and lastly, there is a spoiler alert to this chapter because I will talk about it in some detail. Now, I won't, I won't give you all the details, but I still want to give that warning just in case. Uh, again, this is kind of a surprise for me. I wasn't expecting this manga. I'm sure some people were expecting it or had heard that it was going to be translated by Shonen Jump and maybe were excited to read the first chapter. But I, for myself at least, uh, did not know that it was coming. So uh, when it was here, it was just a good surprise. Um, the Guardian of the uh, sorry Guardian of the Witch essentially is a story uh, where sets where magic happens. You know, uh, and essentially the first chapter is just introducing the entire world and the characters themselves. Um, I can't can't think of the girl's name actually, but the guy's name is Fafner, and and essentially Fafner is the guardian of this girl witch, and essentially his job is to protect her and make sure that she's doing what she has to be doing. Um, at least that's what he thinks that his whole job is. Uh, eventually, uh, towards the end of the chapter, finds out that his job also entitles him or or, or um, requires of him to dispose of the witch once she is reaching to a point where evil will consume her. So, um, all this makes sense if you read the chapter, but essentially, they explain, um, throughout the cha the chapter, they explain a little bit of the history of the world, and essentially, there's evil creatures outside the walls of the city that attack the city, and they're so powerful that the army sometimes struggles to, to defeat them. But, the army uses the power of witches who can, in a second, dispose a lot of beast, e evil beast, in in just a blink of an eye. Uh, so they used her power to protect the the city. So in reality, the witches are the number one sacred protected um, being in the city because it is the essentially if she's gone, the the city is in danger of being destroyed. Now. Um, that is what is painted to see that she's actually protected because she's actually special and is very powerful. But towards the end of the chapter again, we find out that she's actually being held captive. And uh, the guy, the guardian, his job is actually not just to protect her, but also dispose of her. And he didn't even know that. So um, it was all new news to him that essentially they just use witches as they go now we get a little bit of the past of fafner of of him of why he is where he is and he does what he does and essentially he became a soldier because uh his family and his his uh his parents and sister were killed by a beast and uh, essentially he wanted to become one of the strongest soldiers uh so strong where uh witches are not needed in the army um and we later find out that that beast that showed up randomly in the city 
ended up being actually a witch and uh his basically commander is explaining to him that witches uh the, the way witches are made and he's like they're not born that way they're made that way we get girls and we infect them with evilness of these other beasts and you know a lot of them die but the ones that don't die they become witches and they become powerful the only downfall to that is that the evil within them consumes them eventually and then they just become a beast. So, if you put one and one together, the beast that killed his family was the witch that got away. Or, I guess the other guy didn't want to kill her or whatever. So, he's off to kill her and decides not to kill her because the girl, uh, before he um, is able to kill her, is talking to, to I guess, her her um, her maid and she's explaining how she also hates witches and how she's wishing to die soon and how she's okay with him having that position because um, he's okay, she, she's okay with with him disposing of her she's she's done with that and essentially he decides not to kill her and she decides that she wants to be the last witch so the whole series is going to be them two I guess escaping and killing off witches um, as well as figuring out the whole what the heck is going on uh who's covering it up how they make witches uh why they're making witches and so i guess we're going to get all that information eventually through the series and um he does say it's going to be a long journey so we'll see uh the last time i heard long journey um it was one piece and they're still going so <laughs> we'll see how long this one is i doubt it'll be as long as uh, as one piece but i hope it is long enough where uh, we're we're still talking about it maybe next year so we'll see i don't know i could be wrong uh anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video um the series itself is great. I, I, I guess I should, I, should, I should talk more about the series itself but the series itself is great but at the same time it's uh it, it gives you similarities to other series of um the guy going out of his way to protect a girl and there there's similarities to some of the anime that aired last semester at least semester gosh am i am i in school season gosh uh it, it's early in the morning guys i saw i'm, I'm sorry um anyways he it, there is some similarities where uh the guy is over powerful uh, at least it, it seemed like in combat with you know a bunch of other guys that are supposed to be there to help him dispose of her who are supposed to be strong enough uh or some of the strongest guys from their from their army he got rid of them in seconds so um he's a little bit overpowered i guess there's a reason to it he didn't train harder he didn't want to become a witch hunter or witch killer or uh, at least um make witches not have a job so uh that makes sense i guess in a way but at the same time I don't want to become where he's like an overpowering character where no one can defeat him. But we'll see. For now, I don't think they're going that direction. I think they're going in the direction of um, the witch is going to end up having to help him uh, at least escape the castle. Because um, there is a whole entire army that's going to go against them. And there is other witches prepared. There, there was a comment uh, of, uh, of someone. I forgot who, who said it. But... Someone said that, yeah, we have a witch already lined up to replace her. So there is another witch, uh, and there could be other witches, so not just one other one, but more uh, that are just waiting to get their their the command. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if they're able to escape the city and then where they end up because it sounds like outside the land, it's going to be a very, very dangerous place to end up with but or at, so we'll see anyways guys out of 10 i'm going to put this one out of seven um i think it's great i think it's awesome i don't think it is uh at least not yet in the tier of the promise neverland or or stuff like that that i do really enjoy as well but maybe maybe one day it'll get up there uh but we'll see how the story unfolds uh for now i will be reviewing it ch chapter by chapter let me know what you guys think about that also let me know what what else i should be reviewing i know someone asked me to review a certain manga and i and i will review it uh pretty soon uh it's another premiere that shonen jump had so I i'll be reviewing it as soon as possible but um i'm trying to get all these things done and 
There's just so much. Never ending. Oh, well. Thank you guys again for your love and support. If you haven't done so, subscribe. Go follow me on Twitter and join the Discord family. It is now open for everyone and anyone. And guys, like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.